What's up guys, welcome back to Caden Paul channel and I've just noticed my poster. So, in F1 we have just had the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and I feel like I'm going to start doing sports updates now. Um, once again in F1 it was for me another shit day. Because, right, last year, when it got to the final race with Hamilton and Verstappen, um, I was a full-out Verstappen fan, and Verstappen... I, I was just fucking happy. But now, this year, I'm more on Ferrari's side, because Ferrari are just doing... We're doing so fucking well. I always... I have a poster of every F1 track, and I update it every time when whoever wins... And it's not going well. Apart from two races this year, flipping, Red Bull have just dominated. Literally, Bahrain, Charles Leclerc. Saudi, Max Verstappen. Australia, Charles Leclerc. Imola, Miami, Spain, Max Verstappen. Monaco, Sergio Perez, which he may be a Red Bull driver. But, like him. And Max Verstappen in Baku, which it was after last year he did very shit. So now there is a, it's now Sergio Perez who is second place in the championship by um, quite a long way. Like Ferrari could end up losing their third place. They need to get the hold of their flipping engine problems. But the next race is, of course, um... In a few days. Um, round 9 will be of course in Canada. And then of course. It's the home favourite. Silverstone. It will be Silverstone. In about. Um, three weeks time. And then after that. In a few days later. It will be the second. Sprint race of the season. Which. It's the freaking Red Bull Ring. But the Red Bull Ring. Has not disappointed in the last few years. Um, I'm I'm just a bit upset at the moment. Like Baku is one of my favorite tracks, if not my favorite. Literally, if I had to put all my tracks from order, um, from like if I had to do top ten, um, Baku would definitely be um number one. Monza or Silverstone would be two and three. Um, number four would be Jeddah. Five would have to be Spa Francorchamps. Six would be Abu Dhabi. Seven would be Mexico. Eight would be maybe Australia or Bahrain. And then I think seven or eight would be definitely those two. Number nine would be um, Red Bull Ring or Canada. Like nine and ten would be Red Bull and Canada. Like. I'm fair about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sneeze on bloody camera. But it may be a 21 point difference, but I'm hoping Charles Leclerc can pull back a flipping victory. I feel like Ferrari are literally shitting the bed. Like, this is my. Um, like I've I've been watching like I've, I have have <laughs> I've had some F, early F one memories from two thousand and twelve. Like I remember F one from back in two thousand and twelve when I was like only six. But now, ten years later, it's literally now Max Verstappen who's winning. Like I was a full out Max Verstappen fan last year. Twenty twenty one was a good season, but. If Ferrari can hopefully claw back that um, those lost points in Canada, even a win, like I I honestly reckon it's going to be a quite tight. Hopefully, in um, Silverstone, of course, compared to last year with Ham Hamilton and Verstappen, but Charles Leclerc did almost win last year. So if he can do the same again, it'll be so so. Um. So, of course, Canada, 70 lap race next week. It might be 71. Um, and then, of course, we have a 50 lap race. Literally, um, three street circuits in a row. Um, literally, three street circuits in a row. We, 
I don't know why they mentioned Spain as a street circuit. I don't know why. Because three street circuits in a row, we had Monaco number one, we've just had Baku, and now it's Canada. Literally, we're already a third into the season. When I, actually, we're in the second third of the season. We've just had Bahrain, Jeddah, Australia, Imola, Miami, Spain, Monaco. The next seven, of course, Baku was number one. And then we've got Canada, Britain, Austria, France, Hungary, and Belgium. And then that just leaves us with eight left with Zandvoort, Italy, Singapore, Japan, USA, Mexico, Brazil, and United Arab Emirates, which no doubt I'll be up for all of them. Um, I'm not sure about British Grand Prix qualifying because I've got something happening on the second, but all the others are pretty good and go. So that's pretty much it, what I have to say. Just to get over my flipping losses, I'm going to take the good old bike out for a cycle just to keep up and just seeing. Um, it does not look like it's going to fucking rain. Um, but should be all good. So that's pretty much it, what I have to say. And there'll be another sports update. I'm going to hopefully do sports updates. Unfortunately, this should have done at the start of Bahrain, but... There should hopefully either be a sports update on the Monday after the Canadian Grand Prix, since it will be quite late for me. Or maybe on the night. So that's pretty much it, what I have to say. And I shall see you all next time for, number, for the next sports update, hopefully after Canada. Peace.